Hey everyone, there's some new goodies that I bought, I already play with, I just didn't want to kind of make this video long because you know how I am, just, I do like 30, 40 or even hour videos because you know me, I do not edit my videos. So, you know me, I love the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, collection for me. I think that's one of the best best foundation for me personally everyone's different a lot of people like it a lot of people don't um as you guys know as uh, you guys know i got the foundation i have like three foundation in different shades um and i also got the stick foundation as well in two different shades like summer and winter you know but i came across as you saw in my last well two videos ago that they had the loose powders I really want to get a translucent powder and I actually went to CVS and I found it but I didn't want to get that because since I do have the banana you know I have a lot of setting powders and you know I, I don't need more eventually I will declutter more of my makeup and I will probably get that one but this guys, it's amazing. You know, I did my makeup um, just a little, very natural, nothing crazy. I just wanted to do my face, not my eyes, nothing like that. I did use the um, foundation um, in the shade of uh, where are you? Desert beige. As you can see, this is my summer shade. Um, I just put a little bit on, blended it, and then I did my concealer. Um, this is the Maybelline, the Lumi concealer. It's light. It's in the shade Fair and not a fair. Um, that's. But since it was the last one and it was on sale, I definitely wanted to get it. Um, it's more of a highlighting foundation. I mean, concealer. Sorry. So I use this and it makes my under eye like like pop out. If you don't, you're not the type of person to wear a full face of makeup and that's not your thing and you just probably use a little foundation, little concealer and powder and you call it a day. This is the way to go, especially if you get a highlighting conceal, um, yeah, highlighting concealer, sorry. Um, like that one and then you use this powder guys amazing like I look under like I mean I look at the mirror I don't know what's going on with me I can't talk properly don't mind me but I look in the mirror and it's just it looks good it looks really really good I did a video talking about this powder and that concealer yeah was that one yeah, I believe it was that one. And it was like, uh, but the more I play with it, the more it actually looks good. And those two together goes well. Um, but yeah, guys, I got two things at CVS um, for the Wet n Wild brand, the whole brand. They have a little thing going on rewards. You spend 10 bucks and they actually give you $7 in rewards. So if you spend over 10, you get a seven dollar reward. You actually spend exactly 10, seven. So it's pretty much you only spend three bucks because you're getting seven dollars back. So what I got was I need a setting spray. Yes, this is tiny. Um, as you can see, this is like a baby, and I will go through this like that um, because that's one makeup item that I go through like I actually have to go to even to where my shoes or Burlington they normally have where the skincare line is at they'll have like these big giant bottles of setting spray like they have coconut rose water setting spray all that and I actually want to get one I've always been tempted but I'm like ugh. Like, I never try those brands, um, and I'm always sticking to e.l.f. or Wet n' Wild, so I'm like, mm, should I? But I need to because I go through setting spray like water, like water. 
Um, so yeah, this is a matte finish. I did my face already. And this is alright. The only downfall is, of course, it's small. This much. And it has a scent to it. And I'm not crazy with this scent. I normally spray my sponge throughout my makeup while me doing my makeup, applying my makeup. And I'm like constantly smelling this. And it's like, you know, and it kind of actually smell like wine. Which I think it's so 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 crazy I mean if you have this um, this is a photo focus matte finish setting spray from wet and wild if you have this you tell me does it smell like wine open the cap up and smell it if you're a type of person that drinks wine or sangria you tell me I I'm gonna ask hubby and I'm gonna be like listen just smell this and what does it smell like because I know he's gonna say wine it smells like, I don't know, it's probably like a fruity floral scent, but for me it smells like that. So yeah, this is just like a basic, it's nothing special for me. Uh, matte, it doesn't give like that tacky finish, which is good. So, you know, when it comes to setting spray, I don't judge it by, oh, it makes my makeup last because I don't even apply primer. So of course my makeup is not going to last like this because of a setting spray you know what I'm saying um, so that was cool I definitely had to pick up another one not that one but like a bigger one and another thing I got was the wet n wild photo focus press powder guys um, this is a natural beige this is just a simple powder nothing special to it it does its job no scent to it. it almost kind of look like a bake powder stop is well sit down you got panties on go over there so nothing crazy about this but i i wanted to get the line of photo focus because i love wet and wild i can't stress that enough if this brand was to disappear you know from the makeup I would go nuts. When it comes to Wet n Wild, for me, I was an elf person. I love the company elf. And I still do, but for me, Wet n Wild is just stepping up their game. And it's just better, in my opinion. You let me know. Are you an elf person or a Wet n Wild person? You know, I like both, but I love Wet n Wild. Their highlight highlighters are amazing and their foundation the best you know so I just wanted to get like the collection all I'm missing is just pretty much their concealer um, I don't think they have any um, eyeshadows I think they have like a lip a lippy I'm not sure I have to look because you see my CVS is just hold on my CVS is just horrible <clears throat> but in my Walgreens like they just carry the basic stuff like the older stuff they never come out with the new things um but yeah guys I definitely want to do a video of like a full face of the Wet Wild Photo Focus because I just I, I love guys I love you like Wet Wild amazing but yeah I want to do like a full face. That would be cool to do. Isabel, what are you doing? Okay, press. Okay. So yeah, guys. Sorry, Isabel's playing. Press. You gotta press. Go back. Okay, get back. Go back. Get out. Press. Press. Okay, yeah. That. There you go. So, look, she's playing Jason now. Great. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video. Oh, another thing. I went to Dollar Tree, guys. And they're coming out with these babies. Not this one, but, like, the smaller ones and the ones you can apply your bronzer with. Your contouring, like, on your nose and stuff. That's crazy. Like, I love Dollar Tree. And I have one, two. 
three three stores by me and I'm like in every store I'm just like amazed of what I'm finding like throughout the store and especially in the makeup section they're really really stepping up their game um, I love it. Um, what else? That's about it, guys. I have nothing else to say. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And also comment if you have any of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus line. Let me know. And also, if you have the concealer, that is something I'm always looking at. And I'm like, should I? Should I not? Should I? Um, how is the concealer you know from the photo focus line how is it um should i get it or should i not because i was actually gonna use do a full face and my light foundation the lightest one i have used it as like a concealer yeah girl okay guys i have to go because i have to clean up put some music on and she's playing her game Okay, guys, take care. Bye.